understand you're all talking about commercial loans. When you talk to the commercial division of a bank, it's a lot less in a box. I've offered banks, for example, I'd sit with the bank and say, so I wanna buy this commercial building, okay? And let's say it's $1 million. It's vacant. Can you give me a loan? What do banks say? I mean, oh, Sharif, come on, we don't wanna give you a loan on this one, it's vacant. Why don't you get us a letter of intent from a tenant? You're with me? Letter of intent, here's a big tenant coming, then they're interested, they're excited, they wanna give you the loan. Okay, what if you get them a letter of intent, but it's fake? Then they give you the loan, and you don't perform. What, the, what have you just done? Fraud. This is fal falsification of records on a federal application. You, you never do that. Like one guy was telling me, you know, when I get a commercial loan, it doesn't show on my credit if I get a retail building. So when I get the next loan, I'm not gonna tell the bank I own this property. What you're telling me is you're gonna commit fraud on a federal application. That's fraud. You have induced the lender to give you the money based on some omitted information or some falsified facts. That's fraud. Life is too short for this. Okay, so anyway, back to this. A million dollar loan, it's, it's a purchase. And the bank says, well, Sharif, look, it's vacant. So we're willing to give you just $500,000, right? So there is a number at which they're gonna say, well, we'll give you this. Because if you foreclose, we'll sell it the next day with the 500. Then I come in and say, what if I cross collateralize this with this other property? Oh, this property is performing, it's free and clear. Okay, we're willing to give you $700,000. What if I also leave $100,000 cash with you in the bank until I, listen to this keyword, until I have this one leased, will you release it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, in that case, we're going to give you $750,000. Oh my gosh, you give 75%? Yeah, in that case, we'll give 75, because we have 100,000, which is a whole year. You foreclose? I mean, we need to foreclose. We got money, cash flow, we got everything till we resell it. Any problem we can take from here, you're gonna have to sign on the documents the way the bank attorney will prepare. How about if um, you give me 800,000? Can you give me 800,000? They say, well, if we, and then that's how you work it. I, I got a loan from the bank on a property and I put 100,000 extra. I just told them, keep 100,000, but give me the loan this way. I want it this way. And, and I was buying a property, the tenant was leaving. And I told them, the net tenant is gonna renew with me. Because the only reason the tenant is not leaving, is, 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 the only reason the tenant is leaving is the previous landlord told them, I don't wanna fix the roof. I don't wanna fix anything. So they were very frustrated, they wanna leave. So I talked to the tenant, I said, if I buy it and fix everything, will you stay? They said, yes, if we don't increase the rent. I said, done. So I went to tell the bank, they said, well, how can we prove that the tenant is telling you the truth, that you're telling us the truth? Yeah, we believe you, but if we're so regulated now, we can even make a mistake. We're gonna lose the license. So I said, how about if you keep $100,000? So we did the transaction, I bought it, I went to the bank, I said, can I have the $100,000 to fix the building? Because the tenant is gonna stay. They said, no, fix it with other money. I said, all right. So I should have clarified that in my negotiation, made a mistake, I fixed it with my other money, they released $100,000. Nevertheless, I still added value on the building, the tenant is happy, and, and every, everything wins, everything is a win. So negotiate, the summary of this is negotiate with the bank. And don't talk to the person filling out paperwork, talk to the boss.